Hey man, remember this pen? I wonder if KJE remembers this pen. This was his. I'm sure he does. Uh, Chad, from from uh, he lives uh, somewhere up near the North Pole. Um, Tawanda. Yeah, you remember that time we almost got killed on the road? Yeah, it's called Monroton, but yeah. it's, Tawanda's the biggest mm. town near it. Yeah. Death Valley, if you ask me. Um, Actually, Tawanda. So the, so the salt truck comes down the road, right? As we're, we, we see this, this no, it wasn't a salt truck, it was a, um, it was a semi. It was a full tractor yeah, trailer. Salt and I told you the brakes yeah, were failing. Yeah, we, yeah, I said, we found... Dude, he's in trouble. We, we, found, we found out that <laughs> yeah. it was a salt truck later. We didn't know at the time. Right. Um, but yeah, we saw this, he was going up, we were going, three foot trailer with his tractor. We're going up and down hills and we could see that, I mean, we're going up and down like mountainous hills oh, Poconos. Yeah. And, and we could see that this truck was just, it wasn't happy. It was, it was having brake trouble. And yeah. then, and then we finally come to a traffic light and we look in the rear view mirror. We're both watching this situation develop. Yeah. Here comes this truck and it cannot stop. I knew it. It missed I, us by maybe. I'm not a trucker, but I knew he was in trouble because he his brakes stunk and they were hot and it was winter. It, it missed us by maybe six, seven feet. So I knew when he was coming down that two mile hill, by the time he got down to the bottom, I remember I told you, I hope the light turns green. So. Oh yeah, we were both talking, we were discussing it. We knew we were in trouble. I was like, watch this dude. Yeah. So at any rate, he didn't uh, make it. yeah, uh, I don't know. I think we've been back there once since then. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but between that time and now, which was a while ago, this thing failed. Um, which he bought from us. It was certainly, you know, well out of warning and all, but he's not paying for this because he, he took it on the chin and drew, and drove this thing, uh, what, three hours and 15 minutes, you, you whatever know, three, what it's roughly. Yeah. Yeah. Three and a half, three and a half hours, 170 miles. because, uh, three and a half hours from away from here, there's nobody capable of diagnosing the problem that this pin had. It was simple, Mike. Um, well, and, and we, you know, people, to, I don't know if they understand or not, could not do seven hours of driving to go fix yeah. one issue with a pin, right? I mean, it just yeah. wasn't really, it would, it would be too expensive for him, and, the only and it would be too expensive for us. And the reason this was simple is we went over this pretty thorough in the shop, and this is just the failure part. But it, but it wasn't simple. The, dot, the, dot, the, dot, the one you're holding in your hand is, where's the other one? Yeah, this okay. wasn't. That's the one, that was the failure this there. This was a leaker, and this was dead. Yeah, it had... Yeah. So, we this is not tech tips, but be fast about it. We were losing the transformer feed to the voltage that goes to the flash lamp and the motor drive circuit, which is 20, 28 volts. And um, it's two-sided. There's actually a pair of 28-volt circuits. And that's what this is. And they pair off. You know, the one pairs here and one pairs here. Well, I was losing all of my one pair here at this switch right this was working and passing on the 28 volts up here this was passing on 19 volts it lost 10 volts in here so it was still uh, passing but not passing no, no, correctly no, yeah no, no, it wouldn't run the motor it wasn't enough to supply the tw so it said no no he didn't have no flash lamps and he didn't have no motor yeah, so. um could you have diagnosed this over the phone in less than five minutes no, no. <laughs> so now, this is very hard to find because you have to get you know what you're doing yeah, you got to get into the workings of the machine with a meter, and you have to know how to solder because I did not put these corroded yeah. type of things back on. I That's soldered fine. on. Um, but yeah, no, no, no. This is not a user repair. This is yeah, we didn't we didn't do that, but we also didn't fix that the first time through. But you know, <clears throat> so Chad brought this machine to us and stayed overnight. I guess he hung out in King of Pressure or whatever. He likes uh, going to that mall, man. He always goes there. When he's does he really? Okay. Yeah, he's That's cool. down here for business. You know, he builds homes and he has some business in Westchester, so he always goes there. I don't, I don't know. So Chad's bought some machines from us. He got this. He got the, he got that Whitewater. Yeah. Check out that picture. I'd like to have that back. I oh, like that, that thing machine. was so nice. The Yeti or the uh, abominable thing. I like. Yeah, we did that thing nice. Um, he bought the Close Encounters from us, right? Yeah. Uh huh. And I'm thinking one other, but I'm not sure. He said he wants to buy another one from us. Well, as he should. But he's looking to see what he wants. Well, yeah. He probably wants that Adam's Family Gold out there. No. Yeah. Well, I'm, sure, well, I'm not saying he's going to buy it, but he probably wants it. Yeah. All right, Ray. You know what to say by now. Back to you, Candace. Hi. I'd like to personally welcome you to Team GRC. 
Thank you so much for subscribing to our channel.